The 20-year-old says she was abducted and drugged by two men, claiming to be part of a notorious and violent crime gang. Their plan was to sell her as a sex slave to the highest bidder. You had expected to turn up for a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Your yes. job is as a model. Mm -hmm. But actually, what happened was you were attacked. Yeah, by two masked men. And then describe how that happened. So I was about to open the studio door because I didn't see anyone. Um, and then someone came from behind, put one arm around my neck and then one on my mouth and my nose with a glove. And then another one rushed around to the front of me, it was masked, I could only see his eyes and his mouth. Um, and then he was holding like a syringe and he pulled up my jacket sleeve and I was trying to fight back because I just didn't want the syringe to go into me. I was like kicking around. Eventually they managed to tackle me to the ground and then put the needle in me and then, then I was completely unconscious from when that needle went in. When did you then come round? Um, I woke up when I was in the boot in like a duffel bag, like a black wax bag. There was a little hole for me to breathe. I had tape on my mouth. My hands were handcuffed and my ankles were handcuffed as well. And I had been stripped of my clothes. I was just in my bodysuit and my socks. So they'd taken my jeans and jacket and hat. The people who attacked you told you the reason that you'd been attacked? They didn't speak at the time, but when I got to the house, then a the guy came up and explained that it was for sex trafficking. So you were told at that point you'd been abducted in order to be auctioned yeah. as a sex slave. Yes. Because when they found out you had a little boy, yeah. a child, then it was the wrong thing to do. Yeah, well, it's, it's not that they wanted me to be with my son, it's the fact that it devalues women if you've already had um, a child. So in terms of a sex slave, if you've had a baby, it's, it's not much good for trade? Yes. You gave a series of police interviews afterwards for 13 hours, three separate interviews, and you were asked about a tracksuit and shoes that you were wearing uh, when you finally uh, got out. And you told the police you were given them before leaving the house. But then they presented to you evidence that a shopkeeper mm. uh, had confirmed that they'd seen you with one of the kidnappers buying groceries, buying shoes, laughing and joking, apparently without a care in the world. This has led to a lot of raised eyebrows <clears throat> about why on earth you would go shopping with one of the alleged kidnappers and why you didn't try and make your escape. I couldn't flee because firstly he was armed, but it's not just because of him. I was completely brainwashed into thinking that there's a whole massive crime organisation against me. So even if I was successful in fleeing, even if I got back to my house, I would still be killed if there was not an why official release. Why did you lie to police, Because it was like the 10th hour of the interview and yeah, I was actually... That doesn't explain so why you would lie about it. I didn't lie, I just brushed it off. I just you, said, you don't think it's significant that you were out shopping? with one of the alleged kidnappers? Yeah, it was just in the little village. I was just brushed it off, I said. I got the tracksuit because he gave it to me. And Why would your abductor go to all that trouble to kidnap you and then simply hand you in? Because he still demanded money from me on my release. But he wasn't getting any money. But I was supposed to pay it within a month. I was literally like stressing about how am I going to pay this money. And like, even when I was at, in um, the Italian police station, I was thinking, why am I answering these questions when that was my rule not to? Like... But what sort of kidnapper releases their victim and puts them on some sort of honour system to pay the money back when they get home? Because I was so brainwashed into thinking that if I don't do it, I'm just going to die. That was my, my mindset. I had to do it. Otherwise, I would just not come out alive.
But do you understand that a lot of people don't believe you? I do understand. I do understand why. But um, it's the way the papers are portraying it. it and eventually you? it will come out, so... Right, yeah. but it'll also come out that you lied to the police. I brushed it off. I didn't lie. You did lie. I brushed it off. We didn't brush it off. You lied. I was tired. I just said I, I yeah, Chloe, don't know here's about the issues. Your idea of brushing it off, you lied. Well, the police still believe me. They asked you so where why did you... shouldn't well, a few the, random yeah, people... My point is, it doesn't help you that it now... We now know that when they asked you where did you get these shoes, I know it doesn't clothes, help me, but it will come out in the they end. They brought them to the house, and actually, a shopkeeper says she saw you laughing and joking with one of the alleged kidnappers. I wasn't laughing as you and bought, joking. As you bought shoes, no, and that's then not you bought groceries. I wasn't laughing and joking. Even when you went and uh, finally, they allowed you to go. You you ended up going to a cafe for breakfast with one of the alleged kidnappers. Yeah, before we you arrived the in station. we arrived in Milan two hours before the consulate opened, which his original plan was to drop me 20 minutes away, and then mm. so the cameras don't catch his face. But because we arrived so early, he didn't want to leave me on my own. So we went to the cafe next door. You can see again, there's a sort of pattern here. Of I can see, I can see why people think it's weird. Being the victim of a headline-grabbing abduction has already proven very lucrative for Chloe Ayling. She's been offered jobs worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. The interview requests are piling up and there's a book deal in the works. Perhaps we too have become pawns in Chloe's grand plan for fame and fortune. And whether it's a kidnapping gone wrong or a publicity stunt gone right, one thing's for sure. This is a story of our times.